Hey everybody! In today's video, I'm going to show you this month's Hero Arts release, but I wanted to just quickly show you a very sparkly, fun mixative for alcohol inks that I have been playing with with this release. Now I have some glossy cardstock here and regular alcohol inks along with some of the specialized sparkly mediums. The metallic and sparkle mediums have a little ball in them to help you shake them up. The regular colored alcohol inks do not. You do need to cut the tip off of each bottle prior to using these. But other than that, they're just like regular alcohol inks that you might already have. I'm going to use blue and green because I'm making a fun turtle card that you saw in the opening. They do have an alcohol extender if you want to make the ink flow a little bit more. But I'm going to be using the rainbow sparkly mixative that I fell in love with at the NAMTA show. Look at that glittery magic. In real life, it's even more spectacular, but as I let the alcohol ink piece sit, the sparkles move and expand out into the alcohol ink, and it is so mesmerizing to watch. I think you'll love playing with it. They do have metallic mixatives as well. If you're familiar with any alcohol ink, you'll know that you can make almost Things that look like geodes or stones with these metallic mixatives for alcohol ink. So I wanted to show you the copper one. Copper everything is my favorite metallic. So I will do the same two colors. There is a full range of colors. I'll link you to the whole line below. Here I have a bronze and a copper. But I'm going to use the copper because that's what I like. The Sparkly mixative blooms a little bit faster than the metallics, but I like to just swirl them around and let them mix into the alcohol ink color. But you can see how shimmery and beautiful they are and how you get that stone look. Now, when you look at the sparkly one, you can see how it's spread and it looks like a fun bowling ball or disco ball, something from the 70s. <laughs> On there and I just love the way it looks and here you can watch the metallic spread out a little bit as well the longer you let them sit the longer they'll spread this is from the main hero arts kit this month and I also made a set of note cards with these fun animals that are in the release this month I just did simple Copic backgrounds and used my infinity dies to cut these out I just think these are so Fun, they look like something from a fairy tale. Here's the card with the sparkly background. And then here's a fun verdigris that I made just by ink blending two colors of Hero Arts ink. So head over to my blog for the full release and a fun giveaway. And thanks so much for watching. 